attempt to adjust your dial. But a bum bum bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertainment show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. Yeah, continue to keep hollering at us. It's your boy Big Vern. Just having a good time on a beautiful Monday here in the Midwest. If this is your first time on App Stupid, then hit the like button and subscribe. We encourage that. We just wrapped up Bill Belichick and a sketchy coach in history. Um, and the reason that happened is that he's headed to the Hall of Fame. Is he really one of the most controversial figures put into the Hall of Fame? And then I don't know why they are trying to induct Pete Carroll along with him because what is Pete Carroll done to get into the Hall of Fame? I know. These are just questions I'm asking. Then we wanted to talk some UConn basketball. The Huskies, the two-time reigning and defending national champions, they are leaving the Big Ten, I mean the Big East, and then there's the Big 12. Now, I know geography-wise, this makes no sense. However, them going into a conference with Kansas, Kansas State, no, this makes them big time, and it makes them must-see TV. So, what do you think? How's that going to affect the Big East, if anything? And with this whole new conference alignment, do you even really need to be linked up with a conference to begin with in basketball? Who knows? Who knows? But of all things, we're going to go ahead and get into some of this humble pie. And humble pie was dealt by the slice when Florida State lost to Georgia Tech 24 to 21 in a game that FSU needed. All summer long, I kept saying, forget about the court stuff make nice with the commissioner, and get back to football. Why did I say that, get back to football? Because they had only 10 guys coming back from that team of last year. Because last year, everybody kept saying that Florida State got jobbed. Alabama didn't deserve to be there, but for whatever reason, Alabama leapfrogged them, and Florida State was undefeated. So from that point, they kept waging war against ACC trying to sue their way out of the conference and when you have 10 people coming back from last year that's four on offense four on defense and two people on special teams that's not enough to get the job done that's not enough to get the job done and now the way the schedule reads they need Clemson Miami Notre Dame and Florida all to have good seasons to boost up Florida State. And that's assuming Florida State <clears throat> can beat all of those teams. That's assuming Florida State can beat all of those teams that I just named. If they can't beat the third team from the bottom that's predicted in the ACC, if they can't beat them, how are you going to beat Clemson on the road? How are you going to beat Miami? How are you going to beat Notre Dame? The only winnable game I, I might see is Florida, and that's not even a given. The rest of the schedule doesn't have any strength tied to it. Duke is not going to be anything. North Carolina, I don't know what that's going to do. Charleston of South, uh, Ch Charleston Southern, SMU, Cal, Memphis, and Boston College. That's not enough. That's not enough. There is no Louisville on the schedule. And by the time they get to Clemson and Miami, they may not even be ranked. Against Tech, they was 5 of 12 on third down. That's bad, especially when the Yellow Jackets were 5 of 9. Keeping the defense on the field, gashing them for 190 yards. They damn near gave up 200 yards in rushing. 200 did. I was right. <laughs> Give me a quick 20, man. We'll go ahead and cash this out. This your boy, Big Bird.
Yes, BK, have it your way, because you rule. Order online, download the app, visit the good folks at your local Burger King. BK, because you rule. So when we last left off, we was talking about Georgia Tech keeping Florida State on the field and gashing them. And in Florida State, they turn around and put the quarterback out there, DJ Ugali, who's bounced around from program to program and hasn't been good anywhere. He goes 19 to 27 for 193 yards and no touchdowns. And his terrible ass seven yards in rushing. Get him out of here. And I know that kid is living on NIL. He's got to be. He started off at Clemson, then went out west, then went back out west because that's where he's from. Then now he's back down in Florida State. This dude is just butt cheeks. Get him out of here. The leading rusher, Roy Dell Williams, 12 touches for 38 yards. That's in contrast to Jamal Haynes, who had 11 touches and 75 yards and two touchdowns. He also went 11 to 16 for 146 yards, not to mention the dude can catch. He had two grabs for 16 yards. When you have a player like this, who just knows how to win, you turn him loose. You turn him loose, and he got turned loose on Florida State. And now, I don't even think they make it to the playoffs. They went last year being undefeated to now, uh, you know, outside of taking that whooping to Georgia, they're on a losing streak. I don't know if people are going to point this out. They are on a losing streak after getting trounced by Georgia in the bowl game series. So, like I said, all of these waves, I think it's a, I think it's a good lesson. And if you haven't dropped that lawsuit right now, you should just drop it immediately because I told you, Go play football. This dude doesn't have to play football. He told you on no uncertain terms, I will fight you forever in court. I don't care how much money it takes. I will fight you forever. And now with a damaged brand, even if you win independent, who's lining up to play Florida State? That's not going to help us get into the playoffs because you're just a name. They get nothing out of it. And if you're in a rush to show people that one season where you all went undefeated, that's not a fluke. That's pretty much the norm. Hey, look, that's not going to work around here. That's not going to work around here. So for Mike and the boys, I don't know. I don't know where you go. Seminole fans, let me know. You're shooting your mouth off and saying that you wanted out and you held all the cards and now you're on the receiving end and the tables are turned. Did that help you? This is Big V.